So we're here with the Toradex here at the Embedded World. And uh, hi, so who are you? Uh, so my name is Daniel, and I work for Toradex in Seattle. And um, right here, you're showing the IMX 8 QM. Uh, yeah, Quad Max. Here we show the, the IMX 8 Quad Max. So that's the highest performance uh, IMX 8 available. So there's basically three families. The, the Quad Max, then the M, which is uh, probably you see, and then there is a IMX 8X. And so this is really a high performance module. Uh, it features two Cortex A72 cores, four Cortex A53, and two Cortex M4s. So and it's doing advanced uh, stuff right now. Uh, what is it doing here? Yeah, so here that's a demo uh, together with our partner uh, Qt and we show uh, a, a UI uh, running already on the IMX8, uh, optimized to use OpenGL 3.1, uh, uh, running on here, really using also the GPU. So it has a dual GPU, it has a lot of shaders, so it's also the GPU is very powerful. Uh, here we use it for rendering a UI, but you can also use it for image processing or OpenCL, digital signal processing, and so on. So cheapy cheap you. This is very powerful in it, right? Uh, is yes. It one of the most powerful platforms. Uh, yes, for us we have the NVIDIA TK1 really on the high end, and that's uh, directly uh, below. And for some uh, use cases, it's probably even faster. And then on the module, you have RAM, flash, you have Wi Fi, uh, Bluetooth, so it's uh, Bluetooth uh, 5 ready, and everything on one this module. And it's compatible with uh, NVIDIA TK1, it's pin compatible with IMX6 or NVIDIA Tegra 3. And uh, this is using your, uh, is it kind of like your invention, your standard to do this kind of? Uh, yeah, so this sound? is called a Polis uh, system on module, and that's from Toradex, so it's open, everybody can uh, do a module, but this is really from, uh, from Toradex, yeah. And uh, so this IMX8 QM. It's kind of uh, not yet in, in full mass production, right? But how uh, soon? Uh, correct. So here, we, Toradex is one of the very few uh, companies in early access, and we actually allow to enable additional partners and customers in that early access. So if you're interested, if you want to work with early hardware, early software, you think you want to be the cutting edge customer, uh, get in touch with us, sign up on our website, and we can talk about how, how that would be possible. General availability is, is, is later this year. Uh, so that, that's the, coming. the early access customers would be able to, if they get approved uh, with the, by, through you and, and XP, they would be able to start uh, developing and uh, making prototypes and stuff like that, but the mass is later the year. Right? Yes, yes. So it's not mass production ready, but yeah, you can do prototypes, uh, you can work. I mean, there are some uh, contracts you have to sign, uh, but that's possible. And as you can see, it already runs here. We also have a demo uh, there with, uh, with, uh, with camera, uh, just to uh, show you. Uh, it's very similar, it's our uh, off-the-shelf camera module, it's a CSI, and then we have four-line uh, CSI interface here, and that's already worked, because we expect really a lot of vision-based uh, solution, and we also plan to enable more industrial camera modules on, on our module here. All right. Uh, you have some more IMX8 demos? Uh, no, for IMX8, that's it. Uh, we have some other demos, like uh, deep learning. Maybe, maybe we can have a look at that. Uh, so here, uh, um, this is a pasta detection uh, demo. Uh, so, and it's, we, we did that together with a company called uh, Vertex.ai, which they do a framework to, to really accelerate uh, deep learning inference on embedded hardware. And uh, here uh, you can see a camera uh, and detecting a different pasta and it tells you if it's a shell, elbow and so on. And it was actually pretty simple to do that with their framework because you don't really need to program that and, and do feature extraction and bounding boxes. So we just took about an hour of video and then we tagged uh, a lot of frames with the, with the pasta and then the, the system learns it. And now here it's really end-to-end. -end. The deep learning network even does the, does the bounding boxes and everything. So you don't really need to program in a, in a traditional way uh, uh, to do that. And uh, the Vertex.ai, uh, they can really help you uh, with, their, uh, with their framework. All right, and you have some, some other uh, TK1 demos? 
Uh, yeah, so that's on uh, TK1. We have uh, other demos. Uh, if you've asked for TK1 demo, uh, maybe that's a, that's an interesting one. It's from our partner at Crystal, and that's four TK1 on one carrier board. So it's it's a, it's a micro cluster, and and you can you will be able to uh, go with IMX8, uh, of course, uh, in future because it uses the, the same uh, pinout. Uh, it, it does scaling, it means scaling, so it's more like a surfer application. It's, it's a little special, uh, but just to show that's possible, and there's a lot of research in using a lot of small uh, modules than one really big, uh, uh, big computer. But it's also for Edge that people sometimes combine two modules, uh, but here is four, and they even have uh, one with much more modules, so you can really sc scale that up. There are many partners. Yeah, we have uh, really a, a lot of partners, like UI partner. I said we work with Qt, but we also work with Crank uh, on the higher end and low end. Uh, we have Disty, we have other operating systems like Green Hills. What is Crank? Uh, a, a crank, they, they also do a UI framework. So and you can make it very small, so you can also fit it on systems that don't have a GPU or we don't have so much RAM. Right. Yeah, so you can click around and, and it's a uh, uh, it's UI, so I, I don't really know what I have a lot of exact stuff. And of course, a lot of industrial automation, like uh, EtherCAT uh, Master optimized for our modules, uh, Camera Android from, from our partner and Micro, they provide Android uh, on our uh, uh, TK1 here. And, and it also shows a camera, but you can actually see it's just regular uh, Android on that. Uh, Mender, they do over the air update, another partner. Uh, so yeah, if you have a fleet of devices, they really help you uh, doing that update. And then Gumsticks, they, I mean, here it's interesting, it's Alexa enabled. Uh, probably when I say that, I may get confused. But the very interesting thing is the carrier board is designed with their Chipetto tool, uh, which is an online tool you can like basically drag and drop your own, own carrier board. Are there so, many people doing that? Uh, I mean, it's, it's coming up. People use it. I think it's very good for frost prototyping and, and things like that. So uh, uh, pretty, pretty interesting. And over there, you have a demo over the, uh, uh, yeah. the corner over there. Yes, exactly. Oh, yeah. So that's actually our other TK1 uh, uh, demo. Uh, so I, I can show you. That is actually a customer product. Uh, it's called Roboception. And they use stereo cameras. And in here you also have an Apalis module with the NVIDIA TK1. And, and it does uh, something called SLAM. So simultaneous the, uh, localization and mapping. And, and that's used for industrial robots. And, and here I, I can show you, so we can move that around and actually it, it creates a 3D uh, map of the en environment. So let me, uh, let me show you. So like, I can uh, get you here in the picture. Probably. Right, so in, th in real time it does a 3D map. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, maybe I need to do something which is a little bit more interesting. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. So, uh, this is uh, with a partner? Uh, yeah, so that's, that's Roboception. And we also have other uh, views here we can, we can uh, show you. Uh, for example, here you see the depth map uh, of, of the stereo cameras. And you have, they have color version and uh, a gray scale uh, a version of that product. And you have uh, something going on also on your uh, uh, on your website. You're doing your own content. Your own uh, yeah. So I like to introduce you, Wes. He did. Uh, he's our new account manager uh, in the U.S. and he does uh, now we do monthly updates. So subscribe on our uh, YouTube channel so you, you get every month the news on a video so you don't need to so read a newsletter. Videos. In, in video, the is a newsletter, or is, is, is like it's a replacement for the newsletter? In video, what is it? Um, I don't know if we ever. I mean, did you have a video replacement before? Uh, no, so it's not really a replacement. It's additionally to, yeah. to the newsletter. Yeah. So Addition, yeah, yeah. So people who like to, to read, they can still read. But if you're lazy and want to just watch a video, yeah. uh, this is your guy, and he he. He presented Do you have to hundreds of official videos already? or? Uh, yeah, we have quite a lot of videos, and videos include, of course, news, but they include a lot of how-to uh, webinars, so we have all our recorded webinars, we have a lot of demos, 
Um, we have, uh, I mean, your videos are around, they're not on our channel, uh, but but that's that's really nice too. And behind here, you just one more demo? Uh, yeah, so uh, I think pr pretty much the last demo, uh, so our Swiss yeah. chocolate here. Um, this is from a company, uh, Nexo, they're in Italy, and they they use Codesys. So this is a soft PLC uh, software, and it's it, it's very pretty common to use that on our module. And you do read real-time control. So that's very common used in industrial automation for robotic control, uh, for for just everything. And that's that's basically the, the device, and that's how it looks uh, internally. So dual Ethernet, uh, one real-time Ethernet uh, capable. And uh, yeah, they squeezed in there uh, one of our modules uh, that uses an IMX uh, 6 or 7 and they, they use Linux with real-time extension. And uh, do you also work with the IMX 8M or uh, the other IMX 8? Or? Yeah, so we, will, we are also in the early access for the IMX 8X, also a very exciting product. It uh, features up to four Cortex-A35 uh, core and it's really designed for a uh, safety critical application. And then we are not in early access for the IMX 8M, uh, which is M for multimedia, but we may gonna do that later. Uh, we, we didn't decide uh, on that yet. So at the moment, we really focus on the high end and on the industrial automation and uh, safety uh, aspect of the IMX 8. And uh, uh, NVIDIA is also doing some new, uh, some new solutions recently, right? Uh, support some of their newer, newer stuff? Yeah, so far we just do up to the TK1, so if NVIDIA Tegra 2, 3 and TK1, and then for the higher end stuff, X1 and X2, uh, for the moment there is the NVIDIA modules uh, you, you can get directly from them.